Forgotten Filipino singing champions. Where are they now? This video, a lot of people linked over to me because, you know, essentially it looks really, really intriguing because think about it. There are a lot of champions around the world, especially in the Philippines. And there's a lot that some people forget, you know, and maybe you're wondering where are they now? Me, I want to see both. I want to see those quote unquote forgotten champions. And I want to see where are they now? Hey, if you are interested in that too, Come join me. Let's check it out together, please. Let's go. Sarah Hieronimo. Yeah, this. And I'm pretty sure I reacted to this one. This is insane. Eric Santos. Oh my gosh, yep. Angeline Quinto. Dude, I love singing, bro. I just love singing voices so much, bro. endorsements. Talagang malayo na talaga ang Jollibee. Pero di lahat ng mga champions ay nabibigyan ng spotlight. Yung iba pagkatapos manalo ay bigla na nawawala. Whoa! Yan ang tatalakay What? natin ngayon sa video na ito. Babalikan natin ang mga singing champions na biglang nawala sa eksena. Kung ready ka oh, na, isa na natin to. Number 5, Ruel Manlangit. Wow! The maturity in his voice? Sa batang from Bugidnon na nag-champion noon sa PGT Season 4. Marami ang antig sa storya ni Rowell. Kaya pagkat naman champion. ito na itampok sa MMK. Para sa akin, ikaw ang pinakamagaling ba? MMK. Unbelievable. Kaya ipadala sa pag-guesting ni Rowell noon sa mga TV shows ng ABS. At nabigyan ng pagkakataon na i-revive ang ilan sa mga classic Pinoy songs sa bansa. Kagaya na lamang ng kantang basta't maghintay ka lamang. Okay, his range is crazy, bro. At Analisa. Oh my, these kind of songs just make you want to just close your eyes and... Pero ang pagiging popular ni Rowell ay hindi ganong tagal. Hindi siya naging active sa showbiz hanggang sa tuluyan na nga siyang mawala sa industriya. Hi guys, so welcome to my YouTube channel. Sa ngayon, si Ruel ay binatang binatan oh, this is him na YouTube channel at patuloy pa rin sa pagkanta. That's awesome. He still got it. Oh man. I mean, of course, it doesn't just fade away, right? It improves. Ngayon ay matured na. Takon dati with ni Houston ang kanyang ginagaya. Ngayon ay Josh Turner na. Come baby, we got no place to go. What? I hope you understand Wait, so he does like different Nah, that's so cool, bro Number 4, Jerome Sala You saw the passion in, just in his face Si Jerome Sala ay ang grand champion Nag search Aww. for a star in a million Noong 2005 Kagaya ni Eric Santos, si Jerome ay nanggaling din sa wild card. Oh. After Manalo, wow, ay bahagyan naman siya nabigyan ng mga proyekto. Naging bahagi noon ng variety show na ASAP. Nakatanggap ng mga several awards at sumikat sa kantang gulong ng palad. Naginawang official soundtrack sa noy teleserye na pinagbibidahan ni Kristen Hermosa at TJ Trinidad. Oh man, these sad songs. Pero pagkatapos nun, ay wala nang kanta pinasikat si Jerome. So he made a whole album too. That's so cool, bro. Na umuwi sa kanyang probinsya sa Buhol. Siya ay nakapangasawa ng taga Cebu. At ngayon ay ama sa dalawang anak na babae. Kumakanta pa rin si Jerome at hindi nawala ang kanyang magandang boses. Hey, Eddie Newman. Sa ngayon, tinatagawin ni Jerome ang kanyang pamilya sa kanyang halo black business. Oh man. 
I love to see that though. Number three. They continue on no matter what. Sadyang mabilis na tapos ang pagiging popular ng 2014 The Voice Teens Grand Champion na si Jonas Sokit. Sadyang nakakapanghinayang lang na masyado nabigyan ng break ang batang ito. Kung tutusin ay perfect package na ang dalaga para maging isang future superstar. Oh, so she is like the future superstar doing the pop songs, everything. Kung maaalala natin si Sarah Geronimo noon, napakabata at inosente. Ngunit may pangarap at ganun ko rin na ilalarawan itong si Jonah. Ngunit matapos ang ilang taon mula ng manalo sa The Voice Teens, ay di na tayo nakarinig ng balita tungkol kay Jonah. Sa ngayon ay patuloy pa rin naman si Jonah sa pagkanta. May mga videos pa nga siya sa YouTube at talaga malaki talaga ang improvement niya. Spotlight na lang talaga ang kulang at sikat uh... na management. Sigura anong mas makikilala pa siya. Still doing it. Mm. She improved so much. Pop superstar namin ay si Gerald Santos. Number two, Gerald Santos. Oh. Ah, yo. Year 2006 nang mag-champion ang napakabata si Gerald Santos sa Pinoy Pop Superstar na ipinalabas sa GMA. Bilis so far, all of them, they continue on. Whether they stop from the professional wise, like... Nagkiregular na sa variety show na SOP at nakapag-release ng mga album. Isa sa mga kanta na nag-hit sa kanya ng gusto ay ang kanta ng Kita na ginawang team song noon sa palabas na Marimar. Matapos ang 5-year contract sa GMA ay lumipat na si Gerald sa TV5 at nagpatuloy sa pag-release ng mga albums. Aktibo man sa pagkanta hanggang 2015 ay hindi ito naging sapat upang makilala at maging popular sa buong mansa. Kahit anong mangyari sanay man at Oh man. Yo, these are actually some good songs, bro, that I've never seen. Casual fans ng music. Hindi man active sa showbiz, ay masasabi pa rin natin na naging successful si Gerald sa kanyang music career. Sapagkat sa ngayon, ay isa na siyang theater actor. That's awesome though. Wow. Number one, Raf Salazar. They always, like, what I notice is they always take it somewhere. Because, like, obviously what's sad is there are some singers, like, that I've seen that, you know, they stop singing or they stop, like, anything like that. And then they just go a completely different route. And they had so much talent. But what's beautiful is, regardless whether they keep the same, like, performing on stage, let's say they just stop uh, singing professionally, maybe on, like, these shows, they would go to something else that's still similar, whether that be singing at family sessions, you know, just for a hobby, or they still continue to um, do it in a different way, right? Like, Broadway type, anything like that. They still keep that intact, which I love. Some people let it go, and I love that they keep it with them. Wow. Hindi mapagkakaila na talagang legend na talaga itong si Rap pagdating sa kantahan. Matapos nga niyang pagkampiyon na noon na Little Big Star noong 2004, oh. ay mas nakilala pa siya. Hindi lang sa Pilipinas, kundi pati na rin sa ibang bansa. Oh, Whoa! Bukod sa pagkanta, okay, ay naging yo. actor din si Rap at lumabas sa mga commercial at mga shows na ABS. Ah, this is a commercial too, yeah. Ang boses ay tila mailap ang music industry kay Rap. Especially noong medyo papalaki na siya at nagbabago na ang boses. Di siya nakapag-release ng mga original songs at wala rin kantang tumatak. Ganun pa man si Rap ay nakapag-adjust at sinubukang ibalik ang kanyang ningning. Sumali siya sa tawo ng Tangharan Celebrity Edition. Pagkat sa isang taong mahal mo ng buong puso. 
Yo! Ngunit sa kasamaang palad, ay di siya nagkampyon. Jason Fernandez, congratulations! Dude! Ganun pa man si Rap ay nagpapakitang gilas pa rin sa pamamagitan ng kanyang YouTube channel. Nagko-cover siya ng iba't ibang mga songs at talagang nagtitrending ang iba dito. Cause every time you hurt me the less that I cry And every time you leave me the quick love Oh my gosh, the improvement, everything. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I absolutely love that video. It showed so many different singers that I haven't seen. And on top of that, it shows that they're still continuing on that craft, that that passion that they've always had with music. And even if they didn't like completely like continue down the path of being like this worldwide uh, singer, the reality is they still keep it intact no matter the circumstances, right? Because I know that some people, they have this way of looking at things like, damn, you know, they, they fell off or something. That's not how it works. At the end of the day, this person and these people all started singing because they love singing. And maybe they just wanted to do something else. But as long as you never put it down in terms of hobby or whatever you want to do with the singing, then that's what's important because they're still sharing it with people on YouTube or they're still sharing it with their family members by singing around the table and expressing that emotion because that's the most important thing about music is expression and in letting that feeling out it's really the most important and i love seeing that man that was super dope amazing i loved it and hey speaking of love i love you guys i don't want to say thank you so 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 much for watching i really do appreciate it hey if you liked it leave a like if you loved it subscribe if you want more let me know down in the comments below and yeah till next time guys